morning. Good morning. So yes, what are we gonna do for the meditation later? What kind of meditation do you do? Actually, there is a lot of field of meditation, and the really true way to explain is to be silently with the mind, which actually is very, very difficult for every human being. Mm. So actually, yoga, tai chi, or zen, or tao, all this kind of discipline, and teach many different kind, many different way to mm. approach to the meditation exactly to help the mind mm. to keep calm and be silently because i told you before it's very very difficult yeah. even when people sometimes uh, close their eyes and say okay sit and make a meditation mm. but it's not uh, really that you feel this person is in meditation just mm. sitting apparently but it's not really in the meditation so need a little mm. bit uh, exercise training the brain training mm. the mind that is the training the, the mind training the mind to be calm and everything all the key always okay, okay, okay. is into your uh, okay. in the breathing Jeez. the key everywhere every time is in the breathing the breathing is the key of everything mm. The breathing is the key to yeah. to bring the mind to calm. Yes, calm because, is the idea. exactly. Because you see, sometimes maybe people agitated, fighting. You see, when they talk very fast, and the breathing, they are very fun. Like, <laughs> so, when you're breathing slow, automatically the brain is slow. When agitated breathing, mind agitated. Everything going together. Because huh. mind and body are not separate. Yeah, so we are working together. So yeah. is the is the goal to to uh, have the mind being calm? Calm, and yeah, exactly. Is that the the end? Is that the purpose, or is there is the calmness a, a step to something else? Calmness is a step because mm. more and more you go deeper, more and more you become more calm. Mm. And the, and the story is to detach you from the physical body mm. to go in an under state, mm. which is not really. Easy. We cannot yeah. buy in the book these things. Yeah, it's a question of training. Uh -huh. training. Yeah. And is uh, and also there some people do talk about uh, enlightenment and la la la. Yeah. So even if some people practice yoga or this kind of things for 10, 15, 20 years, this doesn't mean they can reach samadhi or enlightenment. Mm. Maybe yes, maybe no. Mm. So no every guru they can say you be with my teaching unlikeness mm. maybe yes maybe not mm. this is really a divine story what is that enlighten enlightenment enlightenment is i think is the simple way actually is you move uh, out from the material world so mm. you detach for everything you know and if you see also for example state like in india they are very famous all because yoga actually is six thousand seven thousand years old mm. by discovered by the yogi so also this kind of yogi there are many different kind of yogis also someone who's isolated them completely they live in the caves mm. so some people survive really with really few drop of water a day mm. they cannot eat uh, or just some fruit mm. somebody some roots some people living also just by prana mm. some people living also just by the ray of sun mm. but all these things is not for everyone Mm. And also, I think we should not repress anything in our life because mm. when we repress something, more or later coming out more strong, like uh, yeah. nails of the tigers. Yeah. That's so what I observe in my 30 year experience in India, that almost of the sadhus, you know, sadhus are these mm -hmm. with the beer, you know? yeah. So I think they have a lot of repression. Mm. In fact, if you see the eyes of this person, mm. very few shining. Mm. Almost, it's not a judgment, but you observe, and the eyes are very always mm. dark, like the, when you look at you, the they are not shining. Mm. So, and there are also people who be enlightened and uh, realize themselves, and they don't and never do this kind of things. Huh. So, also like worshipping. Some people need to go to the temple every day. Mm. and making the classical routine mm -hmm. incense flower oh, 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 yeah. all the puja and it's a great but some people like to do this kind of way as we talked a few days ago mm. branch of the tree are many yeah all connect with one 
uh -huh. the tree. Yeah. So many brands go there, but the direction after in the end is the same. What is that direction? What direction are we going? Actually, I think we don't have to go anywhere, for my opinion. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think the awareness and live the moment is the best meditation we can do. Mm. But then, you know, many different brains, many different people. So mm. for me, I think everything is uh, yoga because yoga means union, mm. you know. So, so like hatha, sun and moon. Mm. So hatha yoga is a kind of yoga. Union know? of what? Union of with you and with the old environment and mm. all with the universe. In fact, you see, when we are detached from the universe, many trouble coming on us mm. because maybe we direct our life. I don't know on the alcohol, on the drugs, mm. or on the sex, or to buy the car, or to buy the T-shirt, <laughs> be always elegant. So it's just a status of outside. But you know, Gandhi, the great Gandhi, say one time. Uh, I thinking simple life mm. and this is the truth if you see also him was in one way extreme because in the ashram for example you can no use salt you can no use uh, uh, sugar you have to sleep in the chatai which is the Indian mat mm. so very very extreme if you want to see so I think by my opinion by how I see the life everything when is in balance Mm. equilibrium everything when is balanced mm. not too much up not too much down mm. then we found our balance mm. so is how I see but because you know this field is very vast yeah. so everybody say like this somebody say like that mm. somebody say like that for me I think we don't have to go anywhere leave the moment treat yourself I mean the body is a nice temple and sometimes people should ask I will treat you properly right or not. Hmm. So what I give in to you? And then the body give an answer by the physical body, the mind, the spirit and the soul. Hmm. Yeah. So uh, it's living the moment you said living a couple of times. Moment. Is that is that the point of all of this? Is that, yes. that why we do this? Yes. How I, see, yeah. How I see is uh, living the moment. In fact, when you are here, you cannot be somewhere else because <laughs> you are here. And that is your moment. If you make it love with your girlfriend, you be there. If you cut your carrot, then you'll be there, mm. under the shower. Don't think about the pizza, I have to call someone. Feel, enjoy the water coming into your body, mm. and feel the water, mm. and feel your palms a caress and wash your body. Mm. Then where you are? You are here. Yeah. That's, but the watch is not easy. Mm. Because so, mind, <laughs> yeah, so we calm the mind so that we can live the moment. Exactly. And we can be here and experience and be aware of this moment. Exactly. But is that also a step to something else? Of course, yes. What, what's, what, what step are we taking? What are we going toward when we live the moment? Because I see that when you get the moment, you are really with yourself and you are really in communion, in communion with the universe because we have all the five elements inside of us. If I stop your breathing, you die. If you lose your water, you die. If you don't have the fire, then so you see all the elements is in us. Just the question that we are too much distract. So I think in this age now we have too much, too many information. So the brain receives a lot of information, which is too much. And if you see really from the heart, a lot is just the garbage. <laughs> so really, you yeah. know, good things, they are little. Yeah. Now in the world, there is also a lot of group which move on this direction, spiritual. And, but you see, now the world is very delicate. We are really in the delicate moment. You see, the world is always all full of war and fighting and blah, blah, blah. The 10 media uh, look and manage how the world <laughs> should yeah. be. They control you, go to work, pay the tax, put you on the rib cage. Ta, yeah. ta, 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 ta. Yeah. You are in the cage and you have to go there, there, there. Mm. Because what? When you are free, you are totally different. Mm. When the human being is free, you can express yourself on the many different ways creativity, we can be in music, can be in meditation, everything. If you are allowed to play, for example, flute, when you play the flute, you start. After two minutes, you close your eyes. Mm. Where you are? You are here. And you are in meditation. So mm. you are not the music even, you become a music. Mm. If you go to the swim, swim in the beach, in the sea, 
you sink. And when you lost yourself, you become a drop on the ocean. So that's to be in the moment. Mm. Because you mix with what you are doing now. Mm. And the moment is the best. Mm. So this, we, be, we come into the moment, and that's, that's the meditation, is to come into the moment. And then we, in that way, you said we um, are in communion with ourselves. Um, is, that, is that what you mean with yoga? We are in communion with ourselves? Yeah, that kind of thing? Yeah, and also with the universe. Like oh. I said before, yeah. In communion with ourselves and the universe. Is, the that, universe. is, that, is that the final... Is that, that what we're aiming for? Is that what we're aiming Actually, for? Actually, the practice? final, I told you before, nobody can say where we're ending because mm. I can be Pinocchio, you know? If <laughs> I say to you, do this, and you can see that you become like... Also, you know, yoga is uh, very nice, but also, if you don't take care, it's a little bit tricky also mm. because a lot of yogis say, don't do this, don't do that, don't do this, don't do that. So you see, if you are not careful, that is the, uh, what I explained before. Mm -hmm. You go to repress. I say, don't do this. But it's different. If you don't do this because you are aware, your awareness coming up, and you avoid to do something because coming out from your heart. Mm -hmm. But it's very different if someone say, don't do this. Mm -hmm. It's like a school. Yeah. You put the finger. Don't yeah. do this. You are a naughty boy. Uh -huh. But see, when you do like this, is yeah. everything come again to you? Yeah. <laughs> so the teacher is like Pinocchio. You yeah. know? Huh. So and about the karma, for example, many people in these uh, things in the yoga field mm. talk about karma. Mm. This is your karma, so now you have to clean your karma. This also is a trick, because if you are not really aware, what happens? You are too much in to take care about the past karma. You are going to lose the moment. Mm. You see, again, you come back in the moment. When we are here, in everything what we do, the moment is a life. Mm. You live here and now. Past is gone, future you don't know. Mm. What rest? Here. Yeah. If I say to you, see you tomorrow, tomorrow you come, where is tomorrow? Doesn't exist. Yeah. <laughs> you see? And mm. you can say again, tomorrow, mm. but tomorrow doesn't exist. Yeah. So we're here in this moment and we can be in communion with ourselves and with the universe. And um, we can't say where is the end of the path. You, like you said, we, we really, who can say where the end of the path is? Yeah. But is there another another deeper level after the communion with the universe that you know of? Actually, this is what they told me, which I not actually experience at the moment, so I can be a Pinocchio at the time if I say yeah. yes. Normally, they talk about the Samadhi and the, the Moksha, the mm. liberation. Moksha. Yeah, it means when you really move out completely from all the materialistic things from the world. Mm. So this is very long journey. Mm. And that, I told you, depends if you do with your heart and with the awareness or if somehow push you all the mm. way. So this means you are not original, mm. even if you do 30, 40, 50 years of yoga. Mm. Why do we want to move out of the material world? Why, why, like once we have this union with the universe, that's pretty cool, right? Yeah. So, so why, why do we need to let go of the material world? Why do we need to move away from that? Actually, that's what they say. If you do like this with the pressure, then you don't understand exactly all the questions you told me now. Mm. But when you appreciate everything, you respect everything what is given to you. Mm. You have a bicycle. Bicycle is not yours, even if you buy, because one day the bicycle you have to leave. So we try to respect everything. So don't create on us the attachment. Mm. So mean little bit the detachment. Mm. So step by step before you have three tv in the house slowly slowly you understand that this is not really healthy stuff you mm. give away one <laughs> then you give away two then you give away three and then you have no tv where is your tv this yeah nature i mm. see it i close my eyes enjoy the breeze of the wind mm. the birds and even the flower you look the flower if you really love the flower you cannot pick it up you just watch, mm. you know, and then you are enjoying, and you catch the moment. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So, <clears throat> hmm. so would you say that? Um, I know you don't like to use concepts and words, enlightenment and things like that. But would you say that somebody who has uh, come into the moment and is experiencing the oneness 
of everything, the yoga, right, the, the union, is, it, is that person, you know, enlightened or does he need to do something else to be enlightened besides the letting go, like the letting go of the material world or no. where, do, where does enlightenment start and where does it, Yeah, I think know? also you can be really, really enjoy enlightenment because you can become enlightenment even when you, when you plant one rose in your garden, mm. you know, this also can be enlightenment. So mm. we don't need really to go like someone, close them in the cave. Yeah. Of course, they can get some power, like they can resist about no eating, no food, too cold. Some people living in Himalaya naked, you know. <laughs> yeah, but with the pranayama, a lot of practice and the mantra and strong pranayama, you can make your strong body. You can lie in the fire even. You see, sometimes people walk on the fire. Yeah. What's happened? When you prepare yourself, we have aura. You know, we have seven bodies. So this is the physical body. So you create like a uh, like a wall around you. So you can walk even in the fire hmm. and nothing happens. So some yoji also line on the fire. Hmm. They can turn and they can wake up and nothing happens. Some people live in the Himalaya, very ice, in the ice, cold. You go, <laughs> ah. <laughs> but the people, you see, they stay there and they live it. Hmm. So they give a lot of powerful. And some people also use on the bad way. Hmm. Some people also do this in the bad way. And some people, they know that what they have the knowledge, because knowledge is not from us. Knowledge is already on the cosmic plane. Mm. Otherwise, how we can catch the knowledge? Yeah. Everything what we know is just so is on this, the cosmic. Is this whole practice, is this whole path about realizing cosmic knowledge and understanding the universe? Or is it more about just being happy within ourselves? No, I think when you are happy with yourself, it's really limited. That is the purpose, to get in communion with the universe. Mm. So what you say, we don't need to throw away everything. You can live. That's why I point my mm, talking with no repression. Mm. The thing should come slowly, slowly by the awareness and the understanding. Mm. It's coming not from the brain, but you get into your heart. Huh. So to be great, or what is the precious gift? So our temple. Mm. So we try to respect the temple as much as we can. <coughs> and maybe can come or maybe not. Mm. This we cannot say. Yeah. So, so it's more about it's more about uh, the uh, union and the understanding of the oneness and the the universe and existence. Mm -hmm. It's more about that than it is about being happy. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Because that, that that should be the focus of our practice. The the coming into communion rather than rather than just making ourselves happier people. Yes, because mm -hmm. happiness can be very fast away. Mm -hmm. That's for example when you start to make meditation. Beginning is not easy. For example, you say, close your eyes, sometimes you go somewhere, close your eyes, sit, close your eyes, sit, okay, understand, and mm -hmm. then what they do, don't think about nothing, what you start to think, you start to think, to don't think, <laughs> that you see, also another trick, which mm -hmm. make you busy, mm -hmm. then you, co you, you start to create, a, what you say, like a contrast, yeah, into mm -hmm. yourself, because thinking to don't think, but already you're thinking, and for example, you say, okay, try to be, look this flower, then close your eyes, try to visualize the flower. Two, three, four, five seconds on the brain, yeah. somewhere. <laughs> then you have to bring again the awareness here. Okay, flower. After three, four, five seconds, mm. again. So first is like this, the beginning. Go and come back till you focus and the mind is trained to keep it focused. Yeah. In the yoga you have also you know the Goenka Vipassana, which yeah. is very good. Actually, so it's a lot of very sitting for many hours, mm. and this is very deep. So first you start to see the breathing, breathing awareness, and then you focus inside of your emotion and everything. And so you don't create any sentencing of you or any judgment, just yourself. When we observe our state of soul, our emotion, everything, when you are able to observe without any blah 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 inside, you see this slowly slowly dissolve. But when we create, then we can increase more and more. This is the capacity of observing. Because the observator becomes the observer. Mm. When I sit observe, I become automatic myself out of this. So that's why yoga, Zen, Tao, and all this, this philosophy, they key 
as I said before, is the breathing. The breathing, the and breathing the is the key. And observing. Yes. Yes. Okay, so with that, maybe we move into the meditation? Okay. Okay, here, you stop the video.